Environment and Pollution Part 2 Our Environment Our environment nourishes life on this planet. The natural balance of our environment is getting disturbed because of pollution, deforestation, population pressure and other factors. Types of Waste All of us generate huge amount of waste every day. Wastes are of two types, biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Biodegradable waste materials rot easily and mix with the soil. Microorganisms such as bacteria, fungi and earthworms decompose such waste. Plastic goods, silver foil, aluminium cans and e-waste are non-biodegradable waste. Non-biodegradable waste materials do not rot easily. They do not mix with the soil and remain in the environment for a long time. Waste Management The practice of collecting, treating and disposing waste in order to protect the environment is called waste management. In towns and cities, many local agencies look after the collection and disposal of waste. They use many methods to dispose waste like landfills, open dumping and burning. Landfills Landfills are an important and a popular method of waste disposal. Landfills are found in the outskirts of a city. In this method, deep ditches are dug and waste is dumped in them. When the ditches are full, they are covered with soil. In some places, parks and gardens are built over them. Open Dumping Waste is first loaded in trucks. It is then taken far away from the towns or city and dumped in the open. Disposing waste in the open pollutes the environment. Burning In this method, solid waste is collected at one place and then burnt at high temperatures. Chemicals and other poisonous waste are burnt in large furnaces. This method is harmful and causes air pollution. Composting In this process, organic waste from kitchens and gardens is put in pits or bins. This turns into compost, a nutrient-rich food for plants. Compost is used as manure by farmers. Crops which are grown by using natural manure are called organic food. These are healthier than the crops which use chemical fertilizers. Composting is one of the easiest and safest methods of waste disposal. The three R's The most effective method of waste management is to produce less waste and find ways to recycle and reuse it. Reduce Reducing is to avoid making waste. This can protect our environment and reduce pollution. The most important way to reduce is to change our habits. We should buy only what we need. We should not waste food. Reuse Using thing again for the original purpose or for a similar purpose is called reusing. For example, cardboard boxes or shoe boxes can be used to store things. Similarly, plastic jars or aluminium cans can be made into pencil holders. Shopping bags and dusters can be made from old clothes. Recycle Recycle is the process of producing a new product from used or waste material. This saves raw materials and also the energy required to produce them. It also reduces pollution. Used paper is a recyclable waste. This paper can be recycled to make a new paper. Waste Management at Home We can start by producing less waste and disposing waste properly. We should determine the type of waste that is generated in our homes. Each type of waste should be put in the correct garbage bin. This makes the process of recycling very easy. Kitchen or organic waste can also be collected in compost pits. Let's recall. Pollution means making the environment dirty. The main types of pollution are air, water, soil and noise pollution. 
द कॉज ऑफ एयर पोल्यूशन कैन बी नेचुरल और ह्यूमन मेड हार्मफुल सब्सटेंसेज वेन रिलीज इन द वॉटर कॉज वॉटर पोल्यूशन पोल्यूशन मेक्स सॉइल इन फर्टाइल नॉइस पोल्यूशन कॉज स्ट्रेस इरिटेशन एंड लॉस ऑफ हियरिंग population pressure pollution and deforestation are some factors that disturb the delicate balance of our environment the waste we generate are of two types biodegradable and non biodegradable burning open dumping landfills and compost pits are ways of disposing waste we must reduce and recycle things whenever possible we must care for our environment and protect it in every way